What's up guys, we're gonna roll beats and today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make some hard trap beats. So we're just gonna hop right into it. Uh, the BPM, so we need a more modern BPM. So I would say anything 150 plus, right? So you can go to 160, uh, you can go somewhere in between, doesn't really matter, okay? We're gonna grab in a scale, we're gonna grab in a minor, of course. Um, so you can kind of pick any key. Um, let's run with like an E. We could do like an E minor, okay? All right, so our first sound we have is this, and this is a chord. This is from the sign surfer uh, bank. I'll leave everything in the description. Um, so first we want to make a little dark melody here, right? And you don't have to make a dark beat to have a hard beat, but typically dark melodies are associated with like hard beats, right? Um, so start with our E. I'm gonna pull this down an octave. I think we could shrink it in a bit more. Um, and we're just gonna start with the bare bones. We're gonna go bar by bar, quantize it, and we're just gonna use these notes all right, so we're gonna use our little fifth here, and then you just move these around. So um, maybe we could do something like this. And then I'm gonna split this up, and I'm gonna take this and pull this down so we can kind of spread the chord out. And you can see now it sounds a lot more full. So that's a little trick that you could use. And if you wanna be lazy or you don't have enough time and you're just, maybe you're tired you could just hold control b four times and then at the end here you can just make a chord backwards from here and now you have a little bass line it's that simple uh, so what we're going to do next is just make some variation i'm going to copy this all over and i'm going to just add something at the top and you could take any of these notes in between. Um, I don't know, we just take like the F and then I'm just making this go in order. So we could do something like this. Boom, so let's play the whole thing. Should sound pretty decent. Okay, we'll fix that, but all right, that's the melody. So now we're gonna go ahead and move on to our next instrument. Now we're gonna be moving on to our next sound and this is the sound here. All right, and we're just gonna be adding simple notes since we have like, well, I wouldn't call it a lot of instruments, but you know, it's a little bit more than two or three. So um, now what we wanna do is just kind of use those same exact notes we just went over and just fluctuate from one. So you could do something like this. I'm gonna copy this, all right. Yeah, just do something like that, right? I'm gonna pull that in. Real simple, all right? So let's go ahead and move on to the next sound. Next up, we have our key. And at this point, this is where things get very um, easy because you can pretty much do anything that you want. Uh, so I'm gonna just click around. I'm gonna pretty much just use the same notes. Copy that over. Quant Why am I in? Uh, let's do here. Okay, there we go. And let's take that fifth that we had from this and just pull it down like that. And I feel like that creates too much tension. I'm uh Yeah, I'm gonna just leave it like this because I feel like it creates too much tension. All right, so that is our third sound. We'll move on to the last one. Now, lastly, we have this little lead sound. Um, so I'm gonna just keep cheating, okay? I'm gonna literally just use the same exact notes. I'm not doing anything outside of the box. If you notice, everything here is, is just spread out over here. It's the same exact notes, literally cheating, 
okay so we're gonna keep cheating um and i'm gonna just start here and we're just gonna use uh, let's probably go to e and then we can continue this little thing right and of course we'll probably throw like some reverb on that to make the sound a lot better let's do this copy this over and then what we can do is take this b and i ain't look i'm not even listening to it because i know it's gonna work so pull this over and then remember from over here we take the f sharp and just uh, place it up here maybe let's see maybe i need to offset There we go, perfect. And move it over. It's that simple, literally. And these are basic patterns. All right, so that is our dark melody. So what I'm gonna do now is just add some effects. I'll come back and just show you what I added. Now, here are the effects I used. So I just put everything into a bus. Okay, so all of these are routed to this track. And of course, there's just some slight things like taking out some of the bass and some of the sounds. Um, but in the bus, I just put on my own portal preset. So um, this is Octavius here. This is the preset, just default. Um, and I'll just turn these off so you can see off and on. And then on. And that's what it sounds like now. So on top, what I did is I added an EQ. Um, so this is the type of EQ that I use. I'll zoom in for you. Um, so how do you actually get this? Um, basically, this is a notch. How to create a notch is if you have one of these little markers, um, you can right click, go to shape, and you cannot see that. I don't know why you can't see that. Um, there we go, let's try this. There we go, all right. Um, so if you click notch, it'll create a notch. And then you right click again, um, and then you go to slope and you put it at the lowest one and you can create a little notch. You can drag in and stuff. Um, the reason I do this is so that I can get the highs, but also keep like that underwater type of sound because that usually sounds really good um, with like dark melodies. So all right, so that is the processing. So um, let's go ahead and make the drums. Now, finally, we're going to go ahead and take care of our 808 and drums. So let's just go ahead and get started. And before we go, we could, uh, where is this at? We could go here and just look and see what the no what notes we can use. So, you know, E to whatever. Um, let's do something like this, pull that velocity up. I think we could do like a. Okay, I think that's good. Simple enough. Uh, I'm a Alt K. Um, when you Alt K, you pretty much want to put everything on C. Okay, so I want to copy the settings I have here. That way, your kick goes down here. And I like to do this uh, double my kick. You don't have to do that. I just do it because I like it. And then from here, we can just I'm gonna just put everything on bar. And then I guess I could oops move this up a bit. this a bit let's mess around the velocity and 
And I think that's pretty good. And we could just play around with some of these, kind of put these in their own spot. And I think that's good. Let's see. Okay, and I think that's pretty good. And you could split this melody up to have like low parts, higher parts, or add other instruments. Um, so I'm gonna throw on a master real quick. Um, and I'll show you the master. Uh, what do I want to use? We could use this one. Um, so here's the master. It's just a clean one. It's not really anything crazy. Um, stock stuff. So, so what it sounds like off. And then on. Um, so basically just bare bones EQ. So we have this EQ. Um, what this does is just give a little bit of clarity. Okay, very simple. You just boost this up a bit. And you want to boost these two slightly and you can boost some of the um low end if you want to um but yeah and then after that you just have this eq um and you can kind of modify this however you want so basically um, i'll play and you can kind of get more thump um but what i would do is you could just raise it If you want it to be a little bit louder and then just the regular soft clipper you can kind of change the threshold all right but that's going to be it for this video hopefully you enjoyed make sure you like and subscribe if you're new and i'll see you in the next one peace